Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. Um, you're sharing the videos and you know, my our community is growing by the day. It's truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while um, and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's out the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life and heading you toward a positive direction. If you feel like the video is uh, video has been very informative to you, or you even just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend uh, that have you know that, uh, or even a fellow empath that are having trying times where they're needing. Uh, confirmation and validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so uh so much for the love and support is truly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um my uh meditation music is the H ancient frequency music uh, 528 hertz positive energy cleanse let go feel free miracle music healing and I will post that link in the description box below and um, my video is about twin flame 101 moon phases have you purging past painful memories that you didn't know were still lingering and it's true you know I just finished doing the video about when when certain things come up it's just like during all these different powerful phases that's going on um, with the moon that is affecting us in a powerful way um, but it's all about how you look at stuff you know um, how things are coming up in your life where you know chapters you're you're ending one chapter and opening to another one you know I really see a lot of empaths in front of two doors you know a lot of the door that's closing and it's opening another one so it's like you know it's just like you can't be able to heal from the way you heal from things from in the past there's a lot of things that's you know got you all discombobulated because there's a lot of things that's been turned on with you um as in with with your empathy um being a hayoka you know you're getting more powerful at your you know your gifts a lot of times things are being coming uh forthcoming whether it's an omen omen doesn't always have to be bad it can be something good something uh bad also certain things you might need to pay attention to things that you you know it feels like you're is being redundant because you're already seeing things that you know that are not really making sense in your dream but throughout the day certain things might trigger it and might remind you of the you know the dream that you had you know the night before so it's just a lot of things that you know i felt like i have really truly healed from um throughout the few days that we've been having all these different you know changes and phases within the moon is a how is allowing us to be able to purge out things that we felt like we have um healed from you know there's still residue still there it's just like when you wash dishes and then you have to, you know you get ready to put your dishes up and you might see a little bit of food still left on the glass or you know like somebody might touch the glass somewhere and there might be some food stuck on there or on a plate you have to go back and rewash all that stuff again and that's just like how our life is um being able to see things for what they truly are and knowing you know it, it can be really asinine or even annoying at times when you truly you know really need to see things for what they are and um a lot of things that we felt like we're so concentrating and saying yes we healed this I, yes we healed that okay can what can i have my blessings now and it's just like we always have to wait on divine time and there nobody wants to hear hey you got to be patient just hold up a little bit longer i mean there's times i don't looked at you know universe and gave him the side i, I said look i did everything you wanted me to do why can't i get my blessings now and it's like no you haven't did everything we wanted you to do you did the things that you've seen but there might be some other things we need for you to do and that's why I'm very I feel very blessed and fortunate because I can be able to put my life experiences 
on video, um, being able to tell people these are the things that I'm dealing with. You know, I never want to say coping because it's like coping is like putting a Band-Aid on, you know, a broken leg. That's not going to work. You know, you already know a Band-Aid ain't going to work. They got to be able to set your, you know, arm or leg or whatever you done broke, put it in a cast and mold it up so it can heal. And that's basically how we do. You know, we have to be able to see things that has caused us issues in the past, things that we that has made us have the mistakes that we had in the past, being able to learn from those situations so we don't go back through them again. You know, if we're still going through that rotating door, even though it done set us into a, a, a different path, you feel like you're all ready for those blessings. But there are certain things that you have to go through in a, a trial error, like uh, we're going through trial errors, like, okay, we need you to go do this. So they're allowing you to go through that and see things for what they are. It's like, okay, yes, we, we appreciate the fact that you have healed from this. But, you know, you have to go from the core of what started you having the, this certain feeling about this certain situation in the first place. So it's like anything that has occurred into your life, universe is allowing you to say, you know, they're giving you those kudos. They're giving you that award. But they want you to be able to dive deep and see the things that you are truly not seeing for, you know, for what it is. Because it's like with my situation, I felt like I was healed from a lot of things that my mom's ex-husband did to me. But then when I truly got to the surface, there are certain things that has triggered me to where I felt, you know, I felt some kind of way and did a, a certain kind of things that that has applied to my life to where it put emotion there and I didn't realize it was still there. Then I actually went to the core of my whole situation and I was like, thank you for allowing me to see it does still affect me. This, you know, I gotta keep it real. You know, things like that happen. You can feel like you have healed from one situation and then when you go deep down to the core, this is the reason why you felt so strongly about the situation. Even though this is what brought towards this, this is what it led to, you have to really go dive deep and go down to that core of the reason why things are happening. So it's just like when these are starting to come to the surface, knowing this is a absolute must for you to go through because you are heading towards bigger and better things. So if you don't want to mess that up, you're going to have to heal from everything that you that has ever put you in a certain situation that had you looking at people different. You know, it's made you to the point where your whole demeanor and your language tone saying, you know, has changed. It's allowing you to be able to go to that surface and, you know, scrape it off so you can be able to guide through your blessings with no issues you know because if we're still focusing on certain things it's like something that's going to mess us up for us to be able to go through our our true wants and our true needs about the blessings that we have on the forefront so i'm not trying to uh say or have a really quick message but you know that's all they really had to say for that situation but allow yourself to heal on every level on every layer and every core because it's like you have big, beautiful things coming into your life, and you truly need to deserve them. But you cannot deserve them if you still hurt. You you're still harboring uh, hurt over from your past. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video and give much love up to Lost Puppy, Gabriel, and K Dropping Gems. Much love to you as well. I hope y'all like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Uh, when you do, I'll go ahead and give you a post notification. Shout out, uh, send out as much love and light as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and always know that there's something better. Calling for your better days, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace.